Welcome to Chromar Building Products. This is the product information video for the Elastothane 25 system. These are the product application steps. Number one, surface cleaning and preparation. Number two, application of polyurethane PU sealant. Number three, application of primers. Number four, application of detailer Elastitex. Number five, application of Elastothane 25 top coat. Step one, surface cleaning and preparation. Ensure all surfaces are clean, dry and free from any debris, dust or dirt. Where possible, you must pressure wash and scrub the surface to remove any built up dirt. This will help ensure a clean surface and a good bond. If chemicals are used during the cleaning phase, ensure the roof is washed thoroughly with clean water prior to the application of any product, in order to avoid a chemical reaction. Some surfaces may need to be cleaned with a solvent and wiped down. Any solvent must be allowed to evaporate, leaving a dry, clean surface. All surfaces must be completely dry before any application takes place. Ensure all screws, joints and any other blemishes to the substrate are filled with PU sealant. Step 2. Application of polyurethane PU sealant. If required, create a fillet with joint sealant on all 90 degree angles, for example upstands, skylights and pipework. For large voids and joints, apply a backing rod or closed cell polyethylene foam as it is important to ensure that the correct width to depth ratio is achieved. The depth to width ratio should be 1 to 1, subject to a minimum depth of 10 mm. Tooling of the PU sealant is recommended immediately after its application. Step 3. Application of Universal Primer. Dependent on the substrate, measure out the required amount of primer at a minimum level of 200 grams per square meter. Consumption may increase subject to the substrate's porosity. The primer must be applied evenly, ensuring that it does not pond on low areas. If this occurs, the primer will not polymerize adequately and will react with the top coat. Allow rapid cure same day primer to cure for two to four hours, dependent on a minimum surface temperature of five degrees and rising. The primer must be touch dry before application of any top coat. Do not apply the primer if the surface temperature is below five degrees. At lower temperatures, the primer will take longer to cure. Please ensure that it is fully polymerized. 
if the top coat is applied while the primer is still tacky, a reaction will occur, causing the product not to bond and to react with the unpolymerized primer. You must apply the top coat to the universal primer on the same day. If you exceed the open time, you must reapply the primer and allow it to dry before continuing, paying close attention to the points above. If it rains or the roof gets wet before the primer has cured, you must dry the surface and reapply the primer. Application of Super Seal Primer Dependent on the substrate, measure out the required amount of primer at a minimum level of 200 grams per square meter. Consumption may increase subject to the substrate's porosity. The primer must be applied evenly, ensuring that it does not pond on low areas. If this occurs, the primer will not polymerize adequately and will react with the top coat. Allow Super Seal Primer to cure for 12 to 24 hours, dependent on a minimum surface temperature of 5 degrees and rising. The primer must be touch dry before application of any top coat. Do not apply the primer if the surface temperature is below 5 degrees. At lower temperatures, the primer will take longer to cure. Please ensure that it is fully polymerized. If the top coat is applied before the 12 to 24 hours curing time, a reaction will occur, causing the product not to bond and to react with the unpolymerized primer. Although the primer may appear to be dry, it will not have fully polymerized. You must apply the top coat within the 5 day open time. If you exceed the 5 day open time, you must reapply the primer and allow it to dry before continuing, paying close attention to the points above. If it rains or the roof gets wet before the primer has cured, you must dry the surface and reapply the primer. Step 4. Application of Detailer, Elastatex. Once the primer has cured, ensure the surface is clean and dry, and reinforce all joints, upstands, corners and details with Elastatex wet on wet with Elastothane 25. Alternatively, for awkward areas where Elastatex is difficult to install, use Elastothane Detailer our fiber reinforced product at a rate of 1.8 kilos per square meter. Step 5. Application of Elastothane 25 Top Coat. Once the primer has cured, ensure the surface is clean and dry 
and reinforce all joints, upstands, corners and details with Elastitex, wet on wet with Elastothane 25. Alternatively, for awkward areas where Elastitex is difficult to install, use Elastothane Detailer, our fibre reinforced product, at a rate of 1.8 kilos per square metre. Apply the top coat to a clean, dry surface with a roller or brush at a rate of 1.5 to 1.8 kilograms per square metre. This will provide a thickness of approximately 1.2 to 1.3 millimetres. It is very important to have the correct amount of product per square metre. To help ensure this, measure out and grid your area. The product will cure in two to four hours dependent on temperature. Please consult the product data sheet. Do not traffic the roof until the product is fully polymerized, normally after 48 hours. Avoid applying elastothane 25 late in the afternoon as dew point can affect unpolymerized material. Application of Elasta Paste Thickening Agent When using the top coat on a pitch, vertical or eaves, in order to avoid drips, sagging or runs, apply our thickening agent to the top coat at a rate of between 10% and 30% dependent on the pitch. Carry out a site-specific test to determine the thickening agent rate. This test area should be left for 15 to 30 minutes, dependent on ambient temperature. Thoroughly mix with an electric paddle for a minimum of 5 minutes, on a slow speed to avoid aeration of the product. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit www.chroma.uk.com.